Hey guys, welcome back to the Arsenal career mode on FIFA 17. Now, as you know, in the last episode, we were trying to sign a new goalkeeper. And that, of course, was Leno. But it turned out he was a little bit too expensive for us. So I've been going through the comments. I've had a lot of tweets. And there are a few more suggestions. One of them, and the most suggested goalkeeper other than Leno, was... Butland. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, that is such a generic signing, but I'm going to go with the comments for now. Let's let's investigate and see how much Butland would actually cost us because he is English and um, one of the highest potentials in the game with, uh, with regarding a goalkeeper. So why not have a look? So we'll have a look at Butland here. I believe he's still at Stoke. So let's just double check, double check that. If he's still at Stoke, maybe it is a good idea to try and uh, to sign him up. Maybe it's time he went to a bigger club. So he's 84 rated at the age of 24. He's going to still be pretty expensive, but will be a lot less than Leno. But is it really worth getting in when we've got Petr Cech? I don't know. What we'll do is we'll do the same deal as we offered before. It's going to be Ospina plus money. Now, how much money do we offer? So Ospina worth around 10. We're looking at another 20-ish. I'm going to be a little bit cheaper in this offer. I'm going to offer up 18 plus Ospina. Roughly gives you his value, but I think Stoke will probably say no. Now, the other comments, quite a few of them, was to try out Timo Horn. Now, obviously, he was already in our shortlist. I decided to go with Leno just because he's the same age, pretty much, and uh, a lot higher rated. Now, Leno is the better goalkeeper. There's no doubt about it, but like I said, too expensive. So maybe the next, be next best option after Butland is Timo Horn. He won't be as expensive as Leno as well, but obviously isn't as good. As simple as that, really. So he's one of the big stars at the club. The offer should be quite high to stand a chance. So again, Ospina, I don't really want to offer anyone else. We're going to go with Ospina, and this time he's going to be a little bit more. I'm presuming at least 25. I think I'm going to be a little bit cheap again. We'll offer 22 for Timo Horn. He would still be a good signing. And now we wait. Let's hope we get some emails before the next game. We get a transfer offer here for Danny Welbeck. Um, I'm going to reject it. I'm not going to disallow future offers. We're not using Welbeck at the moment. So uh, it wouldn't be awful to sell him if we got the right price. But to be honest, I think I'll probably keep hold of all my players in this window unless they're part of a deal like Ospina would be. Uh, press conference, who bothers with those anymore? We've got four emails. We get unacceptable from Cologne. They want 38 million plus Ospina. Okay, I'm going to go in with 25. I think 25 was probably what I estimated before we did this so uh, they'll probably say no again though funnily enough we have Stoke in the Premier League up next so are they willing to let Butland go no okay so they're not interested in Ospina whatsoever is there any other player that I could include maybe Welbeck maybe Welbeck is a genuine option here he's worth 20 million we could probably get Leno we've obviously got Jack Wilshire he's he looks like he's going to be leaving at the end of the season. Maybe I could offer Le uh, Leno for Wilshire plus cash. Oh, I need to have a think about this. Hang on. Do you know what? I think I'm going to give it a go. I'm actually just going to go for it. He's got six months remaining in his contract. That does mean they will negotiate. By they, I mean Leverkusen. And I'm going to try Danny Welbeck. I think Danny Welbeck or Jack Wilshire. Oh, which one do I choose? I think I've got such a strong midfield. I've got so many options there. And Wilshere has already said he's unhappy. He could genuinely go for free. So why don't I just try and cash in on him? You know what? I'm going to go for it. Wilshere plus 25. Let's see what they say to that. Actually, that might be a bit too much. Let's try 20 plus Wilshere. Now, I know the, these kind of things take time, but you've got to get it right. Right, so into the next game, guys. We are top of the league and Stoke are down in fifth. I still can't believe we've managed to turn it around, get back into first place. Normally, this game isn't that much of a, a big of a deal. But Stoke, I mean, they're doing so well this season. It's actually pretty pretty scary. And actually, they've scored the most goals. That is actually quite embarrassing. We've only conceded 11, though. So top scorers versus the best defensive team. One of the reasons Stoke have been scoring so many goals is because of one man, and that is Shakiri, And uh, he's playing out on the right wing. You've got to ignore where he's playing in that box. It's still bugged. EA, please fix this. It shows left backs at right back. It, it, no, it doesn't make sense. But we need to make sure Shakiri doesn't score against us today. Now, for my lineup, it's exactly as you'd expect, except Gabriel comes in instead of Mustafi. Gabriel emailed saying he would like to play today, so why not? Mustafi is going to be on the bench for this one. Otherwise, it's my usual first 11. 
And once again, we're playing on this disgusting pitch. It's absolutely horrendous. But here's Griezmann. Try and get an early cross in, maybe. All right, we'll take the corner. Not bad, just four minutes in. Let's just whip this in straight away with Ozil. Well, that's not bad, you know, but Jack Butland comes out. Another chipped shot. Oh, my God. Okay, Verratti not quite as good as Wilshere in that uh, in that regard. And look at that. Dybala could be on his way to Manchester United. What a signing that would be. Meza Ozil again. Out to Sanchez. That's a really good pass. Try and get through the defence here. I see you, Griezmann. Can we pick him out with a cross? We can. He's in. And we make it 1-0. What a start to the game. Alexis Sanchez once again with the assist. I mean, the movement from Griezmann up front is second to none. It really is very good. And Jack Butland, obviously, he is now one of our transfer targets. Didn't have a chance. On the run again here with Alexis Sanchez. Through for Griezmann. No, it's not. It's Mares. Mares is through with his right foot. Oh, my God, Butland. What a save from Jack Butland. Wow, he's trying to show me I should definitely sign him instead of Leno. Cross comes in. Alexis is there. Is that another corner? No, nope, that's going to be a goal kick. By the way, that goal from Griezmann was his 10th of the season in the Premier League already. And technically, we're halfway through the season. So he's well on course to get 20, which is kind of what strikers should be getting, right? Proper strikers should get 20 a season, some people say. Anyway, let's see if we can get another chance here or just pass it away. There we go. Inside for Griezmann again. I might try and get a shot away if I can. To the far corner. Oh my god, Butland. What a save. So this will be our last attack of the first half. Let's just get a cross in. Why not? Oh, go on, Mares. Oh, that's a good clearance from Imbula. And that should be half time. I'm going to hit this just in case. Yeah, okay. Let's ignore that shot. That probably went out for a freaking throw. Anyway, good first half performance. We're looking good to get another three points today against a very good Stoke team. Go on, Alexis. Over the top. Oh, what a pass. What a pass from Verratti. It's a little bit behind Alexis, but he's managed to get it. Now back post for Griezmann. Go on, Griezmann. He's in. Oh, my God. He's missed. Making two changes now. The usual suspects are coming on. We've got Oxlade Chamberlain and Ramsey. Let's see if they make a difference. We've got Mares going at Cam now, which means Oxlade Chamberlain will be bombing down that right wing, and he's been deadly lately. I do actually think we're going to need a second goal because, like this, Stoke can hit you on the counter and score. Really? I was just saying we need to get a second goal and now we absolutely need to. This was such bad timing. What a pass that is. Completely unmarked. Petacek probably could have done a little bit better there. But instead, guys, of uh, getting a comfortable three points like I thought we would by the time we scored. Looks like we've got a fight on our hands to get the three points now. Come on, Oxlade Chamberlain. Let's try and get through here. Or pass it back to Bellerin. Now continue your run. Actually, no, let's change direction. Let's pass it inside here. That's a penalty. We've got ourselves a penalty with a couple of minutes to go. Griezmann, you are my hero. I mean, it wasn't even that good of a chance. I didn't think the pass was that good, but clearly the defender felt like he needed to stick a foot in. And now we've got a big chance here with Alexis Sanchez. I'm going to go into the top left corner if I can. Oh, that is, that is absolutely beautiful from Alexis Sanchez. And surely now we're going to get the three points. Four minutes of added time though. And Stoke are just running backwards. What, what are they going to achieve doing that? They need to get it forward. Absolute idiots. That is a very underrated result though, guys. Stoke have been very good this season. So picking up three points away from home is very, very good. I'm very happy. Okay, so back into transfer window business now. We've got two emails from the Bundesliga clubs that we've been talking to. Cologne say they want 38 million. So it's not going to work, unfortunately, because that's not worth it. It just isn't worth it. Ospina plus 38 million for Timo Horn. That's going to be a no. However, for Leno, we're looking at 54 million plus Wilshire. Now, I'm pretty sure they're going to move a little bit on price here. And do you know what? I may really regret this, but I'm not using Wilshire that much. And I think I will get, obviously, a lot more use out of an 88 rated goalkeeper. And Czech can just be a legend on the bench. I know that sounds awful, but that's what he'll be. I need to make sure that we win the Premier League and the Champions League and the FA Cup. So, 32 million, funnily enough, that's his number this season, 32, plus Wilshire. Let's see if they accept this. Talking of the FA Cup, our next game is Everton in the FA Cup, so hopefully we can get the deal done before then. We get another transfer off here for Welbeck. Do you know what? I'm just going to disallow future offers. I don't need to let him go, and I might need him. You never know. I might need him in the end, so uh, we'll keep him. Let's see if we're going to get um, any email back from Leverkusen. Come on, you know you want to. Before the Everton game, it'd be great to wrap it up. Looks like Liverpool have signed Tolisso. Very good signing. £22 million. Not too bad. 
Here we go. Here comes the email. What's it going to be? Accepted. 32 million plus Jack Wilshere. What do you reckon, guys? If only I was live streaming this, you would be able to tell me yes or no. But I think for my for my for my chances of winning the Champions League, I'm going to need a very very good goalkeeper. And although Czech's good, Leno's just on another level. So uh, let's try and get this done. Cru crucial first team player, 110,000. We can easily afford it. Please get him into the team. Three days to go. Is it going to happen? We've got two emails. Is he going to accept it and make his debut? Yes, he is. Transfer offer accepted. So financially, we actually gain money in our wages, but of course, we're spending 32. So you can see the difference there. It's not even too expensive. I'm going for it. Jack Wilshire is a fantastic player, but he cannot break into this team right now. Players like Coquelin even, El Nenny, they all can play ahead of him in some ways. So I'm going to go ahead and let this happen. So Leno, welcome to the club. We've got a new signing arriving. Fantastic. So now that means we've got to sell Ospina. We do not need three goalkeepers. And Leno, of course, will replace Czech in goal. 88 rated. I mean, look at this team. It was pretty much the position I needed to change, especially if we do decide to do a third season at some point. The next position would obviously be a centre-back to replace Koscielny, who is quite quickly decreasing. And there he is, guys, making his debut. I'm so, so excited to have made a big signing, a marquee signing. And there he is. He's got the number one shirt. And today, I've really changed up, changed up my lineup. It's looking completely different for this FA Cup game against Everton. So let's have a look at their side first. We actually played them quite recently, didn't we? So it's probably a very similar team. They've obviously got Chesney in goal. They've got Baines playing today. Morales, De La Feo. Angel Correa is in there. Vieto up front. My God, that is such a strong team. But here's mine, guys. We've got Mustafi coming in. Gibbs, Oxlade Chamberlain, Coquelin, Iwobi, Ramsey. And Sanchez is going to play up top so Griezmann gets a rest. Driving forward here with Bellerin. I'm actually going to turn. I ran out of space there. Pass that across for Iwobi. Through for Ramsey, maybe. What a ball. Come on, Ramsey. You can do this. Come on. Oh, it's just wide of the post. And I've just seen Sanchez was wide open. I could have just squared it across and scored a sweaty goal. Look at him. He's in so much space. Go on, Oxlade. Go on. Go on. Tackle him. <sighs> Baines had to put it out. He was under pressure there. Now, will I be able to get a cross in? Let's see. Turn. Oh, so close. But now Coquelin picks it up. Over here to Ramsey. That could have been a penalty. Very similar to in the last game. Here's Alexis now. Goes for the shot and it's wide again. Coquelin here. Over here to Xhaka. Through for Iwobi. Scored on his debut against Everton. Can he score again today? No, and it's wide again. That's three times now. Well, it's been a pretty even first half. They haven't had many chances, but they've had a lot of the ball. And the chances I've had have been very, very decent ones. I probably should have scored at least one or two of them. But now, here's Vieto up against Mustafi. He's done well to get a cross in, but it's not the best cross. And I think that's probably going to be half time. Unless we can get one more attack. Here we go, Alexis. Into a Wobi. No, that is going to be half time now, isn't it? Unfortunately, we are not going to see a goal in the first 45 minutes. Here come Everton. It's Correa. What's he going to do? He's passed it across to Vieto. Oh, the, the ball control there. That was my bad. I just could not get the tackle in. That was very poor defending from me. This is actually quite embarrassing. Look at that. He just dragged it back, moved it forward, and Leno concedes on his debut, but not his fault. That was just poor defending from me. And now we need to get back in this game. Come on. Space here for Bellerin. Look at this. Everton look like they're pushing forward looking for that second goal. But instead now, got space to run into. Oh, I'm still going. Still going. Play into the box. Alexis off the post. Rebound. Come off it, Everton, mate. You're so lucky. Come on, Bellerin. Come on. Oh, it's a good ball. Oh, it's good. Alexis is through. No. No, 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 no. Oh. Did that just happen? Really? That was a foul? Oh, great. We've got an injury as well to Xhaka. Fantastic. This is it. This is my last chance. And I don't think I'm going to get anything from it. The scoreboard's bugged out. Look at that. It's got no background. What a tap from Balassi. All of a sudden, he's a freaking right back. Oh, do you know what? That game was horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. We're out of the FA Cup in, I think, round four. I mean, that is just not good enough. The question is, how much of a hit is my manager rating going to take? Oh, wow. It hasn't even gone down. I mean, that shows how broken it really is. Let's have a look at the board expectations because that is where domestically we had to do well. We need to win the Premier League and win the FA Cup and we got to round 32. 
absolutely terrible but at least we're on course for a Premier League win and of course we're on on course to retain the Champions League if we can win that again then we would never get sacked but that guys is going to be the end of this episode I want to leave the last few days of the window so if you've got any suggestions to sign more players or sell players then you can let them uh, let them leave them in the description sorry not in the description in the comments I can't even speak right now Get your comments down below, let me read them tonight and then I'll come back tomorrow, record the rest of the transfer window and I can uh, make some changes if I need to based off your, uh, your opinions. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button below and make sure you subscribe as well and I will see you in the next episode tomorrow.